as you can see, it's a beautiful Monday morning. It's uh, sunny. We'll be in the 70s. There are a few clouds lingering around. <clears throat> I don't know what that means. I was going to go spitting with the Mumbles man to land Anata today. And I just called him and told him that he better plan on going without me. It looks like my Monday is going to be a knife and axe day. I'm on my way to pick up some of both. I'll know more in a few minutes. I have to get back to you. Well, I'm headed home with all the uh, bladed tickets. And two of them are really cool. Well, one of them's really cool. Let's put it that way. One's a hand homemade knife. The guy I got the knives from, he made the handle. A buddy of his forged and made the blade. And then he's got two old hatchets. I thought he said axes, but they're hatchets. One's uh, One I did about a, two months ago, similar to it, almost maybe identical to it, at the gun show. I don't know if you'll remember it or not. I call it a boy scout axe. But anyway, you'll see it. You'll recognize it. Oh, you know, recognize what it is. And then the other one is a longer handle, bigger version of the similar type of axe with a nice leather sheath. And then he's got, I call it a zombie knife, but <clears throat> I guess it's like a bush knife or something. I don't know how else to explain it to you. You'll see it. It's a handmade knife made from a lawnmower blade. He, uh, his buddy made it and gave it to him for, like I said, a bush knife. Never been sharpened before. It's been painted or treated with something. Uh, maybe, I can't think of the name of that stuff they use on knives. That you can buy it from uh, people I get my Formax from. It's a call, it's a washer of some type. Anyway, you'll see it. It's pretty cool. It's got a nice wooden handle on it. And like I said, it's made from a lawnmower blade. And then I got a I got. Uh, let me see. What have I got in that box of knives? The kitchen knife guy. He had. I didn't count them. So it's six or eight, seven kitchen knives. Two of which are Henkel's. One's a Henkel International from Spain, and I'm not sure where the other one's from. I don't think it's got any marks on it. And then he's got four or five Euro, Euro Steel, Euro something. And they're all from Spain. <clears throat> but they got some bad scratches on them and a lot of dishwasher stain, you know, from that harsh soap that's in the dishwasher. But they'll clean up pretty nice. And low tide's not till after four. I mean, it's a shade afternoon now, so I may be able to get in. Uh, I may be able to get in and spend a night. It all depends how long it's going to take for these tickets. Cleanup's going to be the hardest part. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, there's a heckle. There's a heckle international from Spain. And then we have four. Eurostal, S T A H L. I got some close up pictures, but they both say Spain on the other side of them. So that's our nice. Well, let's see what the old Full Max does first. Well, you see the full max is a messy, but it did a pretty good job. Now I got to sharpen them a little. <coughs> Kitchen knives, they turn out nice. I knew they would. All the watermarks are gone, everything. Well, the kitchen knives are done. And the hatchets and the knife and the zombie knife 
as long as we get lawnmower knife, we're done. <clears throat> I didn't realize until I looked at the case, this is an Eastwig, number five, it says. But it uh, cleaned up pretty nice. And this is the Boy Scout axe, it cleaned up pretty nice. And this knife, it cleaned up some, but I could tell by the finish on it, it wasn't going to clean up so good. But it's pretty much, it's better than it was. And of course the edge turned out real nice. And the zombie lawnmower knife. It's ready for zombies. Or bushes or whatever the attempt is going to be for it. That's it. And let's see what time it is. Well, my timepiece says it's 2.47. So I may be able to get in a spin. I don't know. I got to clean up everything, put all the crap away. And it's, like I said, this you can't tell from this where I'm sitting, but the bay is about like it was yesterday. It, it would be sloppy to work it. Our buddy Stuart from Halifax, North Carolina, he was in Atlanta not the last night or yesterday. I'm not sure if he's there today or not. I don't think he found any gold rings, but he found a lot of stuff. He bought a brand new CTX, so that was like a maiden, maiden voyage for him because he's dead in love. Now, he, oh, God, I can't, I don't know how I live without it and all that kind of jazz, you know. But he, uh, he had a good spin. What else? What other news have I got? Beaver, he's out of town. He's gone on a mission uh, in somewhere in, in in California for I don't know three three or four three weeks anyway. One of them subcontractor missions, you know, he goes on every now and then. Okay, that's uh, all I got. Of course, some sleeves on these things and get them ready for delivery tomorrow. I might uh, might go work on the fence if I, if I don't if I don't go to the land of Nada, I may give the fence a little spin. I ain't decided. But that's not my favorite spot right now. But with this hurricane coming, I got a good mind not to do anything to it. I don't know what the hurricane's doing. I haven't checked today. Okay, that's it. I'm going to clean up. <laughs>